Hey, what's going on guys? This is Sean from MyAccountingCourse.com and today we're going to be talking about the quick ratio. So stay tuned. The quick ratio, often called acid test ratio, is a liquidity ratio that measures a firm's ability to pay off its current liabilities with only quick assets. Now, quick assets uh, consist of cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities. These are the most liquid assets a company can have. In other words, uh, these, these assets are either cash or can be turned into cash within 90 days. So cash equivalents uh, and accounts receivable and uh, marketable securities uh, like stocks that are openly traded on the New York Stock Exchange all can be turned into cash within 90 days. Now inventory is not considered a quick asset because companies can take up to six months, a year, sometimes even two years to sell off their inventory and turn that inventory into cash. So the quick ratio or the asset test ratio is calculated by dividing quick assets by current liabilities. As you can see, this makes the quick assets uh, a percentage of current liabilities. So investors and creditors in particular are really concerned about how easily a company can pay off its current liabilities. If a company has enough quick assets to pay off its current liabilities, this means that a company can easily raise enough cash within 90 days to meet all of its current obligations. This is obviously good for creditors because they want to get paid up front. This is also good for investors because they want to make sure a company they're investing in can pay off their current liabilities. So let's take a look at an example. This is Carol's clothing store. Now Carol has $10,000 in cash, about $5,000 in accounts receivable, $1,000 in uh, stock investments, and about $15,000 in current liabilities. So Carol has $16,000 of quick assets and $15,000 of current liabilities. In other words, uh, Carol's clothing store has a quick ratio, an asset test ratio of 1.06. This means that Carol has uh, more than enough quick assets to cover all of her current liabilities. So if Carol's quick ratio was less than one, it'd mean that she didn't have enough quick assets to cover all of her upcoming bills. Now, although the quick ratio is a great test for creditors to see the liquidity of a company, it's not all that great for comparing companies outside of, outside of their industries. The quick ratio is best used to compare companies that are about the same size in the same industry. So that's the basics of the quick ratio or the acid test ratio. I hope you guys learned something. Check out the link in the description for more information about this ratio and other financial ratios. See you guys next time.